All right, let me describe the setup here. So we have a string here. Uh, one end of it is connected to a vibrator. And the other end, um, we have attached the weights to it. This just to um, fix the tension in the string. The vibrator is connected to a signal generator, so I can control the frequency of the vibration. So as you see, uh, currently it's set to 10 Hz, so this vibrator is vibrating at 10 Hz. So what's happening is, um, we are sending a wave that leaves the vibrator here. The wave is going to propagate. When it reaches the end here, it has nowhere to go but to reflect back. So we have an incident wave and a reflected wave. What do we get? We get a mini standing wave. So that wave is going to come back here and it's going to reflect again and reflect again here. So we like we have a second generation uh, incident and reflected wave. So we have a second generation um, standing wave, a mini standing wave. Now at most frequencies, all these uh, mini standing waves are going to superpose into well, uh, nothing significant, nothing noticeable, right? But at some special frequencies, um, for example, at about 20 hertz, at this frequency, um, all those um, mini standing waves are going to superpose in phase. And that will give us a standing wave with a very large amplitude, like this one. So this one is called the fundamental. Um, it's the longest standing wave that uh, that can resonate on this string. So we have a note at this end, anti note at the middle, and a note at the at the at the end here. Um, so this is called the resonant frequency, but it's it's not the only one. This is only the fundamental frequency. If we switch to other frequencies, the standing wave is going to you know, we are going to have lots of destructive interference again and we get nothing significant until the next resonant frequency, which is at around 40, about 40, 40, 40 hertz, about here. So this is uh, the second harmonic. We have a note here, anti note, note, anti note, and note. All right. If I increase the frequency further, uh, for example, like 50 hertz, or yeah, let's say about here, so this is not a resonant frequency. We have all those mini standing waves that are going to superpose destructively, so giving you nothing significant along the string, right? See? Not much of an amplitude here. But when we hit the next resonant frequency, I think it's about, yeah, about here, you get the next resonance. So this is the third harmonic. We've got a note here, anti note, note, anti note, note, anti note, note. And of course there are even more higher harmonics. Um, so you can just play around and try to get those harmonics. Alright, that's all. Have fun.